Welcome to another journey with my journals. We're still on the journey. We're not giving up. I may not um, post videos as often as uh, you know possible, as often as when we are going into two months of this channel. So like, share, and subscribe. Um, thank you for joining with me. Thank you for staying on this journey. You know, um, to God be the glory. I, as the Lord leads, I will uh, follow. So, um, <laughs> this week has been, uh, I, I tell you, but uh, I just felt the need to come on because I was even saying to the Lord because I have the topic I have the topic but how did this came about the war within me you know um, the scripture said that the spirit and the flesh is always at war because the spirit wants what the spirit wants and the flesh wants what the flesh wants and this is so profound this is so profound and this caused cause a war to always always going on inside of you and that's why guys that's why we need the peace of god we need a relationship with god and you know carnal minds will probably not understand all of this but if you are a believer you will understand the the war that is in you i mean have you ever like want to to I mean you used to live a certain kind of life and it's like being on this journey being on your Christian journey is like sometimes you just want to want to just give in give in to your flesh sometimes it feels like my flesh wants to win all right so I will speak I don't know I don't know people need to share what they're going through if they're going through stuff my Christian journey is not perfect the Lord is working on me he is so working on me sometimes in my flesh sometimes I have to say spirit oh can the flesh like the flesh is winning I know we have to make choices and all of these things but sometimes after like come on the spirit is more um like more powerful i was watching a movie last week sunday and it kind of opened up my mind it named i think it's war war within us or war within me so this is where i kind of there's always a war going on with me especially where my flesh is concerned so this conflict this war that goes on you know because a lot of times i see like the flesh wants what it wants and no matter what there have been times when i the flesh like i mean and i gave in to the flesh because the flesh was more than the spirit and i wonder all oh, that but i was watching this movie last week sunday and i think it is um war within me the war within me something like that i don't remember but it was like um they were showing what should i say like say the character um going through some issues but they were showing um the the emotions the the emotion was a person the his emotion his will his mind his conscience his heart and uh, there was another one oh memory and these were like individuals but what got me was the emotion emotion was so adamant so because it's about his marriage and something happened and it sort of you know want to come against their marriage and it emotion and and um will 
emotion and will were working together against the heart also mind i mean this guy he knew jesus you know he was a believer going to church and all that and um because of whatever circumstances happen he him lose him belief and so his emotions his will they were having a field day about it so they didn't want the marriage to work his heart wants the marriage to work so he was saying the heart was saying to memory to find that memory that uh, when he first fell in love I think it was with Jesus when he first got saved and they couldn't find that because the mind has hid the memory and it makes me realize how powerful the mind is but the mind um because the mind and the heart was at war because the mind decided that it doesn't want to believe anymore and so the heart and there was such conflict but then i i saw one point where emotion 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 is like he was leaving his hometown to go to, for work somewhere else you know and his relationship was not good so this was not a time to leave and i saw him sat on the plane and then he was remembering so his heart his heart was you know working but then emo he, he was to get a it's like his heart convinced and he said okay he wants his marriage to work and he was so the heart convinced him to you know get up you know I believe this is the, from watching that movie and see the mind and the emotions and all that working up together the heart is really powerful the heart is powerful they say out of the abundance of the heart the mouth would speak so it must be in here then it goes up to there and then it speaks so the heart must be powerful and when i see the heart and the mind at war and the heart one you know the heart is really powerful and if your heart set on something then nobody nobody can change it if you fall in love with jesus no matter what anybody say because you fall in love with jesus you believe in here and you fall in love with Jesus in your heart and all of that so no matter what people may say about him your heart don't believe it already so it can change you had the experience you you had those you know thoughts and yeah the <laughs> so I was telling you about when he sat on the plane and so he decided that okay he's going to get up the plane door locked his emotion did not want him to go so will the willpower for us to do certain things so the will and emotion and mind were working against the heart and the conscience the mind actually shut up the conscience mouth and i'll put that movie in the description but it really make you see that there is really a war there's really a conflict going on with all these um what do you call them your feelings feelings how much time can you attest to you know letting your feelings um, get the best your emotions get the best of you and I see where the emotion um, the man was sitting down and the lady come to him and talking to him and then emotion because he doesn't want the relationship to work him just make the man angry and say some things out of his mouth so <laughs> I tell you um, set our heart upon Jesus set our heart upon Jesus I, I have seen this week I've seen this week where because I'm always having these issues you know with my emotions and 
like if I see somebody and there is a little there's a seed of chemistry right if I capitalize on it there is going to be I'm going to be sorry if I capitalize on it um, if uh, if we guys I don't know about honestly really I don't know about anybody else on this journey but sometimes it, it is it is so hard um, I'm not used to not having anyone you know and sometimes you miss that you miss your companion you miss going out with somebody hanging out with them and not somebody just anybody but somebody who you have feelings for somebody who you can hug somebody who you may kiss somebody who you know because this person you and this person have a relationship now that i'm going to church i can't do that I cannot do that and there's the struggle there is the struggle because I am put in a position where now I have to make a choice now I am like I'm put in a cage and uh, all these emotions and acting up and I have to choose my faith or my emotions and this is like hard because it is so easy to do wrong and you know every every year every year because right now I'm in a place where it is digging deeper into God and I realize that whenever he wants to take me to another level whether um, me personally I take my church but I'm involved so whenever I am to move to another level there is always a man honestly there is a man and sometimes I believe that it is a hurdle that I have to get over I have to put my feelings my my flesh under subjection so <laughs> it is hard it is hard at times it is like torture i really do not know what some people are going through i don't know if i'm me alone they go through this but it just feels like torture you can't do as you please on this journey christianity is not um just going to church and and just living you know like or you feel like you want to live there are principles that you are that govern us you understand there are principles that govern us and we can't just live loosely we can't just live loosely people God is relying on us I mean there is so much negativity towards the church already and honestly we we don't want to add more to it we don't want to add more to it so um i know that god is really turning turning things around i know that he is because each time i am put in a situation i feel in my spirit the difference I feel in my spirit that the, the difference how oh, I would deal with a situation and the thing is I believe that the fruit of the spirit self-control I think he have me in that place because when I was in the world I could do what I want to do I don't have to ask any question you know I have my man and you know whenever I want to see him I'll make the time and you'll make the time and all that so didn't 
<laughs> didn't have a fight didn't i mean like a fight where you know if he wants me or i want him there was never anything like that one phone call and it's not a problem i know it is not like i can't get a man that is the thing it is not like i cannot get a man or i cannot have a man or i cannot have a relationship but what kind of relationship what kind of man you know and what is it that i will be indulging in so it have to be different and every year when i go to my journals it is like uh, when i look in my journals honestly and to see where god is taking me from from the from when i gave my life to him up to this day there have been so much growth so much growth where the struggle is concerned with my flesh and wanting all the time to give into it not being able to let my no be no and my yes be yes so you know um but i god is real god is real i tell you god is real and i always cry out to him because I never felt like anybody understand. I never felt like anybody understand. Most people, they are married. I don't know if they remember where they're coming from. Maybe they're married. Maybe they... I don't know. I don't know. But I never felt like anybody understood what is it that I go through. I don't... <laughs> so... Who oh, best to talk to than God? He created me. So, these feelings are real. These feelings are so real. But, what do you... It, they need to contain. They cannot just throw loosely all over the place. And I cannot just throw myself at any man. It may sound a way, but now being a Christian, I have to be picky picky in a sense like I don't judge the person but uh, it's character it's character I have to look at his character and once he is godly that is plus and I think that is the major thing right now I am in a place where honestly I uh, I don't think I'm ready for a relationship I don't think I'm ready there's so much work to be done. So much work to be done. <laughs> I don't think I, I don't think I'm ready. I don't know if I'll ever be ready because I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to feel God. And uh, so I don't even know if but I if he wants me to be in one I think he will he will lead you know he's working on me for his purpose for his glory not for a relationship so I just want to focus on that I want to focus on me and him and our relationship not uh, him fixing me up to put me no it is for his glory him putting me together and the struggle is real i will always say that we will not pretend like it is not real it is real but uh, i believe that uh, we cannot do this on our own we can do it on our own that is reality we cannot do this journey on our own but god through us god through us god in us to let us when we see a man a man who we think we are so in love with and resist the devil and flee yeah god only god can do that only god can let you shut down whatever is brewing between you and this love of your life that you know deep down in your spirit that 
this will only lead to destruction you will know like you know when that person you will know because you don't have to worry about um, sinning because this person and this is why i believe right now in a to to court to date a godly man godly listen godly not just a church goer but a godly man a man who loves god and not just play play love but love god because there are times when some things are happening to your body and if you do not have a strong person <laughs> if you do not have a strong person around you you are going to doom you are going to doom so that person must be strong for you when you feel weak and vice versa so you know um from when i've been talking about relationships i was standing in my kitchen the other day and wondering what's up with this relationship thing and all of that and talking about it you know but it's june and june is a month a lot of people um get married a lot of people want to be married for the wrong reason some people are getting married for the right reason god send you the guy and all of that just let god work on you because there are so many of us women that have so many brokenness so many so many baggages so many stuff within us that uh, we search for love in the wrong places you know um i've always said somebody had told me long a uh, couple years ago um and i always pray this way help me to feel your love god so i do not look elsewhere for it so his presence um his love for me i want him to help me to to feel him to to bask in his love so i don't have to run to a man to feel or to be loved because i know and i can feel how much he loves me so thank you for coming on this journey with me fall in love with jesus fall in love with jesus and let him put your brokenness together because only him alone can do it only him alone can do it no man no drugs no sex no porn no masturbation no none of that demonic sins cannot fix us but god through us god love for us and once we open up our hearts once we open up our our minds to get it the love of god we will wait we will wait and we will wait and thank you for coming on this journey with me